let's talk about fairness and bias in the news. Right? So you may have heard some things about how maybe one system or another is really so much biased and you know this has to do with all those evil engineers being for instance white and male well or whatever but uh, okay let's let's actually dive into the math of what's going on right um, okay so let's say this is my training set okay you know cats and dogs again this is my test set and so this test set has a lot more gray animals in it. It also has a lot more cats. And they look a bit different. So I wouldn't expect the system to work terribly well in this case. Right. Okay, so let's, bottom line, the classifier might perform a lot worse during test time. So what's going on? <clears throat> let's look at a really simple problem here. Uh, and this will, or, and there are like at least two reasons why it might perform worse. So let's say I have, you know, three possible observations, you know, the, and, and I have two maybe at evaluation time and one at training time, and two at training time, and I have those, you know, black crosses as my data point, and in this case, yeah, things work out nicely, I train on my training set, I get this linear function and it works very well at evaluation. So I could get lucky, right? Or I might get this. <clears throat> so the only difference between these two things is that now the black cross is up there. So now at evaluation time, what I really should have done is, well, I should have gotten something like this. Or rather, uh, if I had trained on something that looks like the evaluation distribution, I would have probably gotten the other uh, solid line, you know, that's decreasing. In, in other words, it may very well be that if I have very little data, the optimal estimate that I get at test time will be considerably different and worse than the one that I get at training time. This is a simple counterexample. The other thing is this one here, right? So you're training data set, and yeah, I can assure you, no Photoshop was used for the picture on the right. <laughs> this is just pure lens distortion. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what can happen is that you know the training data set could be that you're training only on you know really beautiful faces, right? On IMDb. <laughs> And then, unfortunately, at test time, well, things go a little bit worse. So um, now let's actually uh, quantify this mathematically. So there's a tiny little theorem here, and uh, I'll give you a bit of the reason of what's going on. So, and I'm calling this the no protection against bias theorem. Essentially, what it tells you is that if I have some estimator, which on average gets you some accuracy mu, Right, some performance mu. But then I have some variance in the accuracy, right? So some, you know, this is basically just, you know, the variance with regard to distribution P of, you know, the expected value of basically how well it performs, uh, the expected loss, right? Then I can always find some other distribution Q such that the performance under this Q distribution is worse than the variance divided by the mean. Uh, and there's a typo here, there should be no square in the bottom. Okay, let me quickly fix this because this is, this is bad. Um, yes. So in other words, Variance divided by mean is, um, and actually this is, well, it's still incorrect uh, because I need to add plus mu to it. Sorry. Yeah. So basically, things, I can always make things worse if there's some variation over how well I perform over the data set. That means, in practice that I can always pick, you know, some 
images, some faces, some demographics, maybe more black cats, maybe more gray cats, maybe tall dogs, maybe short dogs, and it will work worse for them, right? And there's, there's absolutely nothing you can safeguard against it. You can turn this into an optimization problem and stay tuned for the paper that comes out of this, but basically um, there's no protection. So now why am I saying this? Because people act a little bit surprised sometimes when they you know, build a machine learning service and then they find out that their service works better on some data than on other data. So if you don't have a lot of data for a certain subset, your performance may be quite a bit off. And well, yeah, that's essentially the big warning here. So uh, if you deploy machine learning products in practice and then have to deal with you know, people who don't understand math, they might find complaints and infer ill will even in products where it's just pure math. Okay, um, so that's as far as what bias and coverage of correction is concerned. 